हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू डाटा पंडित ओके ओके सो वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट वर्किंग विद एक्सेल डेटा इन एवेन्यूशियो सो टू कंटिन्यू दैट 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 प्रोस आई मीन सीरीज सो वी हैव लर्न्ड अबाउट हाउ टू रीड द डेटा using the uh, read excel spreadsheet component or read excel flow component based on the requirement and based on the number of files we have to read or based on the uh, graph design like we are working as a batch processing graphs or a continuous graph now let's talk about um, how to write the data excel data so uh, many a chances we have to read uh, we have to produce the excel sheets and uh, as a report you know and then send it across to the you know, downstream processing or a third party process right so that's it this is a, a kind of crucial requirement in some of the projects okay so the requirement is to produce the excel spreadsheet or uh, multiple spreadsheet basically depending upon the data we have in the abinitio graphs right so the we have a component called aroit excel spreadsheet right this right uh, this tries to write the data in the form of dot xls dot xl xx or dot xl xm okay or it can try to append the data in the dot xl or dot xl xx but it won't be appending the data into dot xl xm so that you have to uh, keep in mind right so this is uh, that or now uh for example let's say we have a you know data right so we have a customer data on revenue data we want to produce two sheet in the uh, a file which is there should be a dot xls file let's say we want to produce two sheet in that one is customer one is revenue we have a revenue data customer data in our abinitio we want to uh, write those files right so before doing this uh, example let's see i mean how how it happens actually so so uh, as we know that we need to uh, when we write the write the data into the right excel spreadsheet right so it is it is going to expect the data in the form of sheet and line right so uh, otherwise how it is going to write so what um uh, right excel spreadsheet is understanding is where to put the date particular in flow record or what is the record right so it will read the sheet it will produce the sheet and then it will write that particular record which is in the line right so it wants two information sheet and line so sheet to distinguish which where to write or line to line is itself is record so it will write that particular a line that's that sheet so these two information that right excel spreadsheet component you need so we have to somehow supply that information so we can supply that information we can say that sheet is customer let's say if the records are coming in from the customer or if uh, sheet is a revenue if the sheet uh, data is coming in from the revenue flow okay then we will concatenate those data and right excel spreadsheet will read those data and uh, uh, depending upon the sheet information it is going to be here also we need to produce the data in this format only so the the output format of this create data customer data uh, sorry customer reformat let's say and revenue reformat would be this only record begin street uh, string sheet and line so sheet will contain uh, you know the static information like customer or revenue and the line will contain the exact different record so when we produce the create data component when we when we will have a create data component how what we are going to uh, use is like we, let's say we are writing customer and uh, revenue so we are going to create two record in that create data configuration num record is 2 if index is 0 then let's say we are a uh, sheet name we are specifying as customer if index is 1 uh, let's say not 0 then revenue 
and for line in the header we are producing the header basically this this exercise is to produce the header right so let's say i'll write it produce the header information using the uh, using the create data component okay this is we are going to do so and then and so this uh, create data work has been done uh, in the line itself we will give the header information like tab delimited header information if index is zero so we will need to give tab delimited uh, number of fields in the customer file customer seat actually though we are going to give customer id zip and address let's say we have three columns in the customer seat okay so we are going to give customer id backslash t zip backslash t address so tab delimited these are we are going to give else in the revenue let's say i have three more col three columns revenue id revenue amount and revenue date so what we have done create data is number of record two if if the index is zero then customer seat and otherwise revenue seat and then we are giving the header information now the part is uh, what information customer reformat uh, you know component is going to be outputting and what revenue component is going to be outputting let's say we have reformat over here so what we are going to do is in this reform uh, customer reformat we have the uh, data coming in from our upstream right so we have information like customer id zip and address let's say three fields we have in the let's say we have under records here in three in three fields actually so in the reformat of this because we have output uh, dml like this we can see it in line we need to give this kind of information so we will give the in the seat we have static information and in the line we will put the from the input port of this reformat customer reformat we will put this information in this form actually it's, it it expect this in uh, this uh, the the information in this form basically so okay uh, at last also i need to give the uh, plus and uh single quotes right so this this is the expectation of this a uh, read uh, write uh, excel spreadsheet component basically so therefore we are producing the data in this form so here also i need to give the this information right so the in the revenue all reformat so once we do, do that so we have all these three output record format same we will supply that concatenate uh, component and then the same uh, you know uh port will be propagating and then the right excel spreadsheet input port would look like this sheet and line and then it will write this spreadsheet so this component is going to be used as in batch processing graphs okay uh, okay and uh, uh, so if you look at the parameters we need to configure as part of this right excel spreadsheet is these are the mostly simple parameters right what is the sheet we are going to write basically and then write mode whether we are producing the new spreadsheet or we are producing or we are appending the data into the existed snap uh, spreadsheet that options we are having then if it is in a utf8 format or not and the date format of these column which are which is having date information in it so what is the format we are going to write upon and what is can we do the auto sizing of the column and the record delimiter is going to be the backslash zero that we under we have understood while reading the data use format is, is true so what we can do is we can supply the formatting information in the while writing the data in okay so the if it is true we will true then formatting attribute we need to specify let's say bld and nm then formatting attribute error also we need to give true if there is an error so what to do right so i said right we can specify the formatting information so in the formatting information how to specify the formatting information is we have a we have a library actually utils library for excel right like we specify uh, uh, the date functions right xfr i was talking about while reading the data so sim similarly there we have an xfr also so that's uh, that you know 
we have to modify that and we need to include that in, in our DML section. And that uh, we can, uh, while specifying the port information of that right Excel spreadsheet, we can give that uh, attribute, uh, you know, formatting stuff actually. Okay. So that also can be done. So this is that an important uh, concept is data must be sorted on file name, right? So this is the requirement basically. So the second part is this ha happened. What happens in a continuous graph is, or if we have to write multiple files, right? So what is the process while writing the multiple files? So we have a read Excel flow to read the uh, multiple files, right? And multiple Excel file into the stream of records. Similarly, we will have a write Excel flow and then we will supply the, if it is in a batch graph, we are supplying this information into the write multiple files component. <laughs> or if we have a, a continuous graph, then we are going to supply this information into the uh, publish multiple files component. So we have a batch and continuous graph both, right? So if we have a uh, so in this process also data must be sorted on file name before sending to write Excel flow component. And also it the write Excel flow expect the information in some kind of format. So that format also <coughs> we are going to see. So I have, we have talked about read, uh, write Excel spreadsheet. We will talk about write Excel flow in combination with write multiple file component. Now, so uh, we, uh, the right Excel flow will be expecting the data in the format of file name, seat and line, right? So what is the file name? Because it is going to write multiple files, right? So what, you know, so that information I, I need to have and also what within the file name, if we have multiple seats, that information also I have to have I mean, right Excel spread, uh, Excel flow have to have, or what is the exact record that I, you know, right Excel flow have to have. So these three information I need because here I had only one spreadsheet to write or append, then I don't need the file name basically. But in this uh, right Excel flow, I am going to, I can write multiple files. Therefore, I need a third information as well, right? So this, uh, after reading this uh, information in this uh, right Excel uh, flow, I mean in this form, the output format, uh, output record format of the right Excel flow would be looking like file name and Excel content. So this information will again back supplied to the right multiple file components and the right multiple file component will pick the file name from here and the content from here and it is going to write the data into the specific file name. Okay, so the file name per information have to process uh, flow from our you know, original content and it should go to the right Excel flow and then it is going to decide you know, which spreadsheet, which file and then this information is given, you know, uh, so given to the uh, right multiple file component and process happens. <clears throat> so what is what is the work of the create data? So here in, let's say we are writing the customer file and the revenue file. Probably if we have multiple seat in the customer file also, we can supply, right? Depending upon, let's say within the customer, we have two type of customer, let's say, uh, right? So depending upon the region or depending upon the, or maybe country or something like, we can specify that seat information as well while producing the data in these, let's say these customer reformat, this is revenue reformat, this is create data for revenue component and create data for a customer, uh, you know, customer stream and revenue stream. So as the similarly we have to give right if we are producing the create data there will be a number of record here one create data customer seat file name would be customer let's say customer seat name also let's say uh, emia customer or line is ex exact the number of fields we have in customer let's say we have three fields then similarly we can uh, approach this also like we have here right similarly the line can be populated over only field uh, extra field is file name basically 
okay so similarly the create data component so here in we need to give concatenate like this actually one by one we need to supply then concatenate and then write excel flow would be expecting in this format only <coughs> so it will read the data in this format and uh, it may probably you know write it will try to produce the file and then it may be writing the you know seeds into the excel so it will produce the multiple seed within it and this write multiple file component will try to write the data okay so this is whole mechanism of you know writing the data basically so we have to keep in mind is like what is the what is the requirement of this uh, uh, you know dml or record format by the write excel flow also the sorting of the um, file name sorting the data should be sorted as a file name right that also we need to take care basically so with that uh, uh, so i have did no i did not discuss about you know number of parameters so parameters i have touch upon actually so these are the kind of different main parameters but there are multiple more actually so these are the multi parameters information and uh, uh, so with that you can initiate that you know writing the data into the excel actually but um, uh, the runtime behavior and the more detail if you want i can cover in some other section let me know thank you so much